Carolyn with Hollywood First Look Features, and right now I'm here at the special screening for Brian Banks. This inspiring film is about a young man who was wrongly accused, the justice system that failed him, and the legal team that exonerated him. Let's take a first look. When I was young, it was hard to see a way out. Football gave me an option. The time I was 16, I had the attention of the NFL. The sky is the limit for this kid. So what happened? Why don't you play anymore? Brian Banks was 16 years old when he was accused of a crime he did not commit. He lost 11 years of scholarship. He was prevented from playing football. The system is broken. We have 10 months to clear his name. If in that time they do not overturn your conviction, you'll be a prisoner again. I need something big something extraordinary it's extraordinary that i'm still here so what convinced you that this you know your story was a one to be told and to be able to trust you know the team and the hands of people that would make sure that they told your story in the manner that you wanted it to, to be heard yeah i just took my time and who i who i chose to work with and who i allowed to to, to tell this story um, from meeting to meeting to, you know, discussions with family and friends who I take advice from. We really got to, uh, I really feel like we partnered up with the best people that we could to make this film. Uh, Amy Bear and Get In Media and Shiv Hans Pictures and Bleecker Street and Tom Shadiak as our director. This is a powerhouse of amazing people who, who understand the story and gave it real true justice. You know, Leomi is a quiet, understated hero and just to her faith is what attracted me to the script. Her her fight, her belief in her son, no matter what anybody else said. I have a 14-year-old child who could very well be a Brian Banks. And and you know, watching Leomi and through the script be the backbone to her son's sanity. He was she, he was she was the reason why her son, why Brian kept his sanity. She drove three and a half hours to and from prison. For five years, she wrote him a letter every day. Like, to, to see this mother's love, I said, oh my gosh, I have to play her. So to be able to give her a little bit of homage and, and honor her side of the story is a blessing to me. She saw your performance. What was her reaction? She She's very shy. She hugged me. And uh, her, her nieces and nephews said, you just, you just like auntie. So that was really nice. We've got... Two million people in prison in this country, and if you figure one percent of them are innocent, we got twenty thousand people that that might be locked up. And 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 his story was so clearly one uh, of a real violation in terms of what the system did to him, how broken our own uh, prison system is, and just kind of a call to arms, I think, for everybody to to consider what happens when somebody falls into this thing, especially if they're wrongly accused. Um, Justin Brooks, who I play, the lawyer from from uh, San Diego, who who uh, who is a guy who's kind of a force of nature in and of himself. He's done so much to help these guys. He's done so much to, you know, fight for the wrongly accused. And and uh, him and Brian together was kind of unstoppable. I mean, I read the script and thought, wow, what an incredible story. And then I then I was told that it was a, a true story. It happened to Brian. Um, the in, and just the injustices. Um, of the sister. I mean, he was a 17-year-old boy that was tried as a man and put into a male prison. And I just, I was so inspired by how he kept faith and was so hopeful. And, and now he's one of the most inspiring, hopeful people you'll ever meet. So talk to me about those first few meetings with Brian and making sure that, you know, the two of you gelled. I want to know about those first intimate moments with the two of you. Uh, so the first time we met, uh, we were actually just kicking it at his apartment. We talked for a few hours, and I was just filling him out. He was filling me out. That was, for me, even though I had done the audition process and booked the job, that was, for me, the moment that I chose the job because um, I had to see if I could believe in him as, as a human being, as a person. Um, and and I, I was sold automatically. And I said, okay, now I know how I can approach this because of the potential of this project. But then after that, we basically spent 
like every day together in the gym before we moved to Memphis to go shoot it. And that's where we solidified our relationship, really built up our brotherhood because we were pushing each other in the gym. Um, we were learning, you know, I'm, I'm trying to bulk up to, to get like him. So he's training me at the same time. He's working on himself too, you know, and we were dedicated, you know, we kept pushing each other, but it was where we got to see each other's mentality. We got to see our dedication. We got to see our commitment and also how we handle hard situations because we were easy with one another. You know, we were, there was a grace about it. And I got to learn so much about him. I was like, man, you know, I actually respect this human being. I have to play this person. I have to honor who he really is so people can see and understand the value of this person. Brian told me that he watched the movie with his family alone in a theater for the first time. What were his comments to you after he watched your performance? He was, you know what, he was satisfied, he was happy, he was grateful, and I really appreciated that. That was the highest compliment I ever could have gotten from this, is the fact that the person that I'm playing was happy with my work, because I was nervous, honestly. I was like, there were some days on set where I didn't even think I was pulling my weight, and I would have to call my brother or um, one of my friends at the time, be like, yo, I'm having a rough day because I don't know if I'm doing my thing, I don't know if I hit this, you know what I mean? And they were like, bro, you got it. So. For Brian to validate that I actually did uh, 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 a good job, an acceptable job, that made me just feel like I did what I was supposed to do, what I chose and I came here to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Brian Banks will be in theaters on August 9th. This is Carolyn. We'll see you next time. I know what I have to do now. My son is innocent. They tried to call me out. You think you'll get another shot at the NFL? Trust me, we got a plan. It's not I am innocent, and the truth matters. I know this system doesn't care about me. But you didn't deserve what happened to you. Brian's going to run out of time. It's not over. I'll tell you what's extraordinary. I am.